Hello guys, welcome to the 3D Home and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to model this type of wall okay using complex profile. This was the first one we did and now I'll be showing you guys how to model this type okay how to model this type. Let's proceed without wasting much of our time. So the first thing you click on option which is this one all right and then select complex profile from complex profile you move to this um, profile manager okay so click on profile manager same thing you still click on this plus sign okay if you want to model any new thing make sure you select on this plus sign okay it's very necessary so you click on the plus sign and then don't forget to type in the name of that particular model you want to create let's go with um let's make this um 3d wall 2 okay 3d wall 2 okay 3d wall 2 so remember the name is 3d wall 2 so that when we are done we can locate the name easily okay so now save once you save it will give you a space like this to work okay so the next thing to do now is click on this fill tool okay sometimes you may see these ones appearing these ones these ones are under design and they are always this deactivated okay you can select them while modeling on this particular um space so you click on this document okay once you click on document what we need for this design is is fill tool okay so click on fill tool and then once you click on this x sign you're seeing the first dimension here is the width okay is the width so you type in the width of that wall let's go with 225 and then don't click on enter instead of enter tap click on tap okay tap this now allow you to type in the height of the wall so type in 3300 though it depends on which height you want okay but for the sake of this tutorial let's go with 3300 once you type in the 3300 then you can tap on your you can press on, on enter now okay click on enter you can see we have the width now which is 225 and then the height which is 3300 okay now i discovered something if your if you were to change the colors okay once you click on this particular okay once you click on this once you highlight that particular um object like this one i want to highlight the wall and you override this wall and select any color here okay once you're drawing two walls when two walls join you discover that there's there's this opening you know what i'll show you that but first of all let's finish this particular and then i'll show you what i'm saying so ignore this particular wall don't select the colors from here instead select the colors from here this field type under field type Make sure you select your colors from here okay so click on let's go with white paint this inner this internal filler okay also serve as white paint so click on internal filler this one will give us white paint and then for the down remember we have 450 down on that particular design so we have we have bricks design here so remember to type in the width let's go with 25 since this is just a plaster let's go with 25 and then click on enter um, on tap once and then type in the height let's go with 450 height then enter okay so this is what we have now so press on escape click on this one let's change this one to brick finish okay this is brick finish still under this field type okay brick finish click on brick finish once and then now let's still click on this one let's create something little thing like skating okay for this time around let's not use this rectangular let's select the single one because we'll be doing different shapes okay different shapes so let's go with 50 okay 50 and then the height to 50 50 then this inside one okay the inside one this one let's go with 25 okay take it up by 50 and then the inside now this inside now let's make it 52 i'm um, 25 rather then join everything together then now click on this one change the color to this same internal filler which is white color okay so we have brick we have the white um design here the skating design all right so now let's change let's create some little groovings here we have the thickness is okay let's select the rectangular now so we can type the width now which is 20 let's make it 20 click on tap take it just after tap then type in the height which is um let's go with 200 then click enter okay 
So we have this one now. Let's change this color to tan. Remember, you click on it, then select this field type. Change it to, let's go with, um, okay, I think this one is okay. Should we go with, okay, let's go with this plastic solid, okay? Then now, click on this one. We are going to multiply this one, okay? Type, click on control once to activate your plus sign. And then type in 250. 250. Why are we typing 50? Because we need the space, okay? The full height of this is 200. So when you add 50 to make it 250 and create the space. So same thing, click on this one. Tap control once to activate your plus sign. Type in 450. Um, type in 250. Okay, then enter. Should we add one again? Okay. Let's leave it at three. Or if we add one, let's add one again. Okay, let's add one again. So take this up, tap control once, type in 250. Okay, then enter. Then now let's create something. Let's create that Dado. Dado. Okay, this design at the middle of the wall is known as Dado. So let's design this Dado. Let's make it 50 by 50. Okay, by 50. All right, so let's change the color to white. Same thing, this internal filler. Okay, would they be need for us to chamfer this? Okay, let's just chamfer this one. Okay, let's chamfer it with 10. Okay, just the top. All right, so now let's create another one here at the top. We're almost there, okay? So just hold on a little. We're almost there. So click on this point, same thing, 50 by 50. So type in 50 there. Click on tap and type in another 50. All right, so now let's change this one to the white color. And um, now let's create another brick you know, to balance the contrast. So this one now, the width, let's go with 20. Then click on tap and then type in 400. Okay, let's go with 400. Like that. Then so click on this one now, select these tiles. Um, select under this material type and then let's go with brick, brick finish. Okay, so now. Since we are done with this model, we can now click on save. Okay, remember the name 3D World 2. Okay, so after applying, after saving, clicking on save, we can now close this one. Then now let's draw that particular wall. Click on ground floor. Okay, select your design under design, select wall. Then either you go inside, which is from here, all right, and select wall and select that particular. Um, 3d wall 2 which is this one okay and click ok you can either select it there or you just come here under this structural this is comp um, complex profile from here now you can still select the name of that wall right which is this 3d wall 2 so let's just design it here let's draw it here click from up let's see let's see let's see All right draw it here then from this point pick from this point to this point All right Make sure you check here very well okay if the lines are not joining the two walls are not joining very well click the two lines all right click the first one hold down your shift key click the second one and then trim them this is trim also known as intersect okay so click once you click these two walls will join so let's check our 3d to see what we've done so far so this is the wall now okay this is the wall this one was three okay <laughs> Why this is our own now is four. We have four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So this is the same thing as this other one. So this is another way of creating this type of um of wall. Okay. Okay. Let's quickly add our window. So let's go with let's let's go back to our ground floor. Okay, one window here, second window here. Let's just make it three. Let's see our three D. So these are our windows one, two, three. Okay. All right, so thank you once again for your time. And let me quickly show you, if you're interested, let me quickly show you why I asked us to select this particular material and not this other one, okay? Click, let's let's go back there quickly, edit. So let me show you why I asked you guys to, you know, why I'm suggesting you, you select your materials from here, okay, and not here. So let's, let me show you something. Once you override this material, okay, and, um, Click on ties. Um, click on this material. 
there are plenty of materials you can select from here okay so let's just go with um let's go with this paint this green paint because i want the paint to show once i click on apply okay let me show you something then close here this is what i'm talking about you get to see that the side of the walls will still maintain white colors okay look at the materials will still maintain white colors while only the faces only the faces will have um will have that particular material so if we select the same material with this one too with this one you get to see that only these faces are having this material and then these other sides are having white color so it's better you select your materials from inside okay from this other point let me show you it's better you select the materials from here so if we pick green from here you'll still discover that everything is showing okay let's apply and then let me show you what i'm saying you can see now hadin bean is the same color i select for all these ones okay i need to do something sorry i forgot to remove that override so i'll take off this this override now i'll remove this one okay so this particular water i select this is water color let me see if i can get any other green color here okay this is the only water color available for you this green is like water so once i apply it you see that that same color is all over that particular you see all over that particular wall so it's better you select your materials from there okay it's better you select your materials from here okay from here so always select the materials from here so let's change it to white again which is this one um let me just select another material let's go with this yellow apply okay you see this is the only material showing now there's nothing like white here okay so thank you for your time and um if you find the video helpful please do it well to like okay do well to like do well to subscribe and also do well to share and if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask okay drop it on the comment section i will attend to you guys thank you once again for your time